Yeah, I always got to take a double double take on you, Dominic. Never know who that, who that is looking at me there. I, I, I had to look at your name because I don't recognize you still. Um, you know, it's it's always concern when you play that first game uh, when that other team has played, uh, particularly when that other team's a shooting team. You know, I've always thought that other team has played first has had the advantage. And, um, you know, I thought the first few minutes of the game, um, you know, we settled for a few too many jump shots. But I think after the first four or five minutes, um, especially around that eight, nine minute mark, I thought we settled in and I thought we were pretty efficient. Uh, I thought we started getting the ball, paint a little bit better. We drove it to the paint a little bit better and got to that foul line and um, able to have a lead at halftime. And, you know, anytime you're playing a team like that can shoot the basketball, or any team that can shoot it, you got to come out when you got a lead and win that first four minutes. And I thought that was probably the one of the most important parts, parts of the game when we came out that second half and won that first four minutes. And uh, I think we were up 18 or 19, maybe 20 at that spot right there. But a couple of good big stats, got to the free throw line, just didn't get there. We made them 24 out of 25. Um, and I thought we did about as good a job as you could do on Jackson. I mean, he's going to score some baskets, uh, but he has five points, uh, two for 12 shooting. And, and again, I thought – particularly that second half, Carson and Charles started wearing them out inside and we were patient enough to try to get in there and I thought we were very efficient. So good team effort. You know, you can't get to the second game till you win that first one. So that one's behind us. we got a quick turnaround, 11 o'clock against UAB, a team that we hadn't faced yet, but uh, it's very obvious they're a really good basketball team and we'll see a different style tomorrow. The team is going to press you a bunch, 40 minutes different ways and change defenses on you. So uh, we got to get out of here as soon as we can. We got to get tested. Uh, quick turnaround, 11 o'clock game. Hey, Coach. Uh, Jared McDonald with the Daily News here. You know, back before the season even started, when we were getting ready to go play in Nebraska, you said it was going to be six, seven, eight, nine guys off the bench, um, you know, to make the difference. Uh, tonight, you guys struggled a little bit offensively early, 2 or 12 to start. And then Jordan Rolls and Luke Frampton come in and give you 13 points off the bench. You know, how important was that spark from them at the time that they did that? Well, Jerry, it's always it's always big when you get different people coming in, giving you different things at different times. Um, you know, Rawls gives you some skill, and he can jump up and make shots. That's huge. And we know Luke can jump up and make a shot. But those are, those are two guys that kind of spurred us a little bit in that first half, too. Kevin gave us some good minutes. And, you know, Cooper is able to come in defensively and rest and, and guard those guys. And, you know, anytime you're playing in a tournament format, you got you need a bench. A bench can help you, in particular when they're adding two. Now, if they not adding two, a bench can hurt you. So, but our bench, our bench added two. Um, you know, they've done it at different times all year long for us. Hey, coach, this is Nick Keezer from the College Heights Herald. You guys had a big defensive stop. You know, from Charles, he had five blocks in the first half. Not only does he do that, but he puts up seven points in the first half. I mean, in the second half to start. So just how big is it that he kind of stays consistently good for you guys defensively and offensively? Well, hey, hey, Nick, you know, it's very obvious. We need him at his best every night. And the deeper you go, the better you got to be. Um, and when he's playing like he played tonight, uh, you know what it does for everybody, how much it the impact it has on this team. Uh, he was very efficient both ends, uh, offensively and defensively. And I don't know how many minutes he played even. He played 25 minutes, very efficient stats. So, um, so it's real important. We need him at his best. He's going to go against a big guy tomorrow night. You know, they've got a seven-footer and big, strong body guy that can move. It's big and strong too. So, um, you know, it's very obvious UEB is a really good team, and we need him at his best. Hey, Coach, this is Dominic. Uh, speaking of Charles, uh, how is he doing, I guess, what his back was bothering him a little bit, and but is everything okay, at least as of now, from what you've been able to see? Well, Dominic, I don't know for sure. Uh, you know, he didn't go back into the game. Um, you know, he re-aggravated that back that he had earlier in the year. So don't know where he's at at this point. Uh, but – you know, if he's able to go, he'll be ready to go and he'll fight. But uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see where we're at right now. Uh, hey, Coach Jared with the Daily News again. 
you know, like you mentioned earlier, quick turnaround to face the UAB team that you haven't seen this year and the team you were supposed to open up the tournament with last year. You know, what's the biggest key um, and, you know, coming out early tomorrow morning and trying to have another good showing? Well, again, it's, uh, you know, um, I just told uh, Todd that we've been involved in some 11 o'clock games before a couple of them. Uh, we had one this year, I think, didn't we, against uh, Rhode Island. But I don't think I've ever been involved in one at 11 o'clock where you played the night before. I mean, that's that's the difference. But, you know, same for both teams. So that's where that is. It's a different turnaround. It's a different scout. Uh, not much time for either team. Um, so at this time of year, you just got to find a way, find a way to push through whatever issues that you have. It's no longer a three-game season. No, it's a two-game season now. Um, and we we got all that first hurdle to get that second game or win that first game. And that's always the biggest one. That first game, you look across the country, you'll see so many upsets in that first game. I've always believed that's that's one of the toughest games you got to find a way to get through and have a chance to get to number two and three. Hey, Coach, this is Nick again. And I think okay. to push through that adversity, you know, I did see some fans in the crowd tonight. So how huge is that to have some support there for you guys, kind of helping you out? Well, I mean, that's always big for us, Nick. Uh, and I would say we had to, for sure, uh, San Antonio was in Texas, but we had the biggest and the best crowd for sure. Um, uh, we're going to need every ounce of energy they can help us with, uh, everything they can give us tomorrow. They got to be able to get, help us tomorrow because it's going to be a, it's going to be one of those games that, you know, can come down to one play, one free throw, one rebound, one loose ball that our fans can help us with. Good. All right. All right, guys. Jared, you 